Good morning from KOTOR Montenegro. We thought we'd take you along with us as we explore all the great things to do in this city. KOTOR is known for being kind of the touristy spot in Montenegro. We're here in the off season, which luckily gives us a little less crowds, but as soon as those cruise ships roll in, cruising through the Adriatic Sea, this place lights up. So we're gonna take you along with us, explore all the things to do in Old Town, and go outside of the city to Puras. Since we're only doing one day here in KOTOR, if you're here on a cruise ship stop, this is gonna be your day in KOTOR travel guide. This is the entrance to the hike of the KOTOR Fortress. There are two different hikes that you can take. One is the ladder of KOTOR, because you're going to the way top. We're only going to the fortress, which is about 45 minutes to an hour, so let's go. The hike to the KOTOR Fortress is eight euros each. A little pricier than I'd like, but it helps the local economy. And we get stunning views, so I think it's worth it. Now I know the weather isn't always like this, but we've been here like five, six days and have not seen a cloud. We've had perfect weather. We've been able to go for runs, go for walks, go and explore on our own time. This is such a great time to visit KOTOR. Stunning. It's straight up from here. Yeah. Still climbing. I thought we made it. That wasn't it. No, I think that's the beginning. This. It's why it's worth it to do the fort hike. You get beautiful views like this. We made it. I thought for a second we were on the ladder yeah. because it took us definitely longer than I thought it would. If you wanna to go to the church, which is probably about 20 minutes into the hike, it's not too bad. Once you get past the church, it's like straight uphill all the way up to this fortress. And then you hit the beginning of the fortress and then you have to continue on yeah. to the very top, uh -huh. which is where we are now. Yeah. There are cats everywhere here in KOTOR, and they are actually a sign of good luck. The symbol is a lion, and they thought of the cats as little lions, so they started getting a lot of stray cats here, and now they're a symbol of good luck, and you can find them everywhere. So now we're gonna go through the old town here in KOTOR and explore that, uh, because the hike to the fortress basically spits you out right in front of the old town. I will say it's not the easiest place to find your way through. It's not huge, but it's still like a labyrinth of alleys and... It's easy to get probably lost. <laughs> easy to definitely get lost. When in KOTOR, you're also going to realize that there are no shortage of options for food. However, we have already found a place that we love. It's called Delicious Burgers. We're not going and getting like traditional Montenegrin food. We kind of feel bad about that, but at the same time, we really want to highlight this little business that's just outside of the gate. I've never needed a water so badly in my life. The best burger. We felt like we had to get a burger, but the chicken sandwich here is definitely worth noting. You can't really go wrong. <laughs> we accidentally ordered two chicken sandwiches, but it's huge. Do you like it? So good. So we got a roll out of here. Thank Thanks so much. Thank you. you guys are the best. See y'all. The problem with having a take take away back when you're married to Hannah, she's gonna just like sneakily take so many fries throughout the afternoon. Stop. If you're in Montenegro, you can pretty much get by on just public transport. We've not really driven while we've been in places. So it's just a matter of your preference and your budget restrictions, honestly. We're going to Perast. It's a short 15 to 20 minute drive, depending on traffic from KOTOR. We're gonna try and see if we can find someone to uh, take us out to Our Lady of the Rocks, the church that's out in the center of the water. I hope my camera work is making it clear just how beautiful this place is. From being on the water to on the coastline to hiking up to the fortress, it just doesn't get much more beautiful than Montenegro. It really doesn't. Thank you. Let's 
So he was telling us on the boat, this is a man-made island. The people of Montenegro for years and years and years would come out and put rocks down and they finally built this beautiful island. So from a time perspective, it's about two to five minutes trip by boat from Perast all the way here to Our Lady of the Rocks. And it costs us 15 euros. He dropped this off. He's gonna come back in about 20, 30 minutes and bring us back to Perast. But I mean, 15 euros to get a little quick boat ride through the through the bay to come and see this place. I feel like 15 euros is a small price to pay and totally worth it for what you get. Okay, love, 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 love KOTOR. I can't say enough good things about it. Everything is just so picturesque. I don't think there's a bad view in the entire city. Montenegro has very incredible people and it's just been a great experience. She's funny. <laughs> We've only just started and I'm already out of breath. Steps are, steps are tough. Hannah's very excited that spring has sprung. It's actually springy and there's flowers. Things are green. I'm in a t-shirt. All right. Trey, do you want me to take the backpack? Are you getting that on? <laughs> but on the record, <laughs> so that, I'm gonna let the record show Hannah offered. I'm saying no, I'll regret it later, but I'm gonna say no. Let's keep going. I'm not convinced there isn't a bunch of bats up there or something. You gonna go in there? Oh my god, no! Where do we go? No thanks. It's Ooh. actually kind of beautiful in there. A little stinky. Kind of beautiful how? Yeah, another way. It was where I stopped I to take that picture. It, yeah, this is it. Okay. Wowza. I really don't know if I'm in the right spot. A lot of walking going on today. <laughs> Another little nugget of knowledge, wisdom, whatever you want to call it. It's called an Adelinette. In Nashville, there's this place called Nothing But Bunk, uh, what is it? Nothing Bunk Cakes and they have little buntinis. This is an island, it's an island teeny. One of our biggest struggles <laughs> is getting out of this door without this one-eyed cat attacking us and running us up. Oh, there it is! This is Smitty, the one-eyed kitty. Very sweet cat. Smitty, the one-eyed kitty.